Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Africa in the Lounge, brought to you by African Night Fever, Yaram Arts, Brewery Arts, Bristol Beacon, Brighton Dome, and our partners, Wildstack Video Production and Ustos. Today, we're very delighted and honored to have and welcome one of Africa's finest artists and musician, um, who is an internationally renowned person and influencer in world music. I am delighted to call him my friend and my brother, Mr. Seku Keita. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy the show and please remember you can always hear your comments and you can also press that donate button to support the cause. Thank you. I hope you have a very good evening. Mr. Seku Keita. Thank you. 
Thank you. Hello everyone there, wherever you are, maybe in your living room, or just on your phone, walking around, <laughs> or maybe even bedtime, who knows, hey? I hope you're having a good time. I'm really happy and delighted to be part of this season four, am I correct, I think? Uh, Africa in your lounge, it's amazing. I started with a tune called Distance. Distance from one of my albums called Muro album, which was released in 2012. And Distance, as you can hear it, sound distant song. So it's a song dedicated to all the people out there that I can't reach, or you can't reach me right now from the distance, you know, and also especially to distance lovers too. Uh, that was opening tune. Uh, the second one I just finished playing. This one is from my solo album, 22 Strings album. And it's called Tatono. Tatono, again, it's a prayer song to me to actually part of the second song or opening of the song because I dedicate that song to my granddad. Uh, his nickname is Tatono. And when I was little till lately, I didn't know why they call him Tatono. <laughs> I was not allowed to call him Tatono, neither his wife and one else, but only his age group. But then I discovered that actually his younger brother, when he was young, he couldn't pronounce his name properly to say Jali Kemo. So he called Tatono. <laughs> Become, I like the sound of that words, and then I composed this song as a dedication to granddad Jali Kemo, who's actually my mentor my mother's father, who taught me how to play this instrument to start with. So that was Tatano. I'm going to carry on to the next one. The next one also is still stay in Africa. When you talk about Africa, you always have to touch the ancestors, grandparents, then you go forward. Uh, the next song is called Papa Keba. And when you hear Papa Keba, you know Papa in French, Papa means father. Keba means elder. So El the Father, the song. This song was inspired, was inspired actually, um, a couple of years ago when I was involved in this project called The Lost World Spell Songs, where uh, this book, amazing book, Spell Songs, um, written or, and a book made by uh, Rob and Jackie Morris, where talking about that words have been lost. And my reflection to that in this particular song is about words that have been kind of buried in where I come from or forgotten, not because they don't exist anymore, but they've been dominated by either colonial language or normal like general terms that take over. And this is Papa Keba, a song that actually in the album there I play with uh, Julie Fowle from uh, uh, up north there, who's singing garlic, but this time it's going to be a solo one as Papa Keba.
Thank you.
tune called Little Bro from my uh, my solo album 22 Strings and this song actually got its own story where dedicated to actually my younger brother one of my brothers um, this one was dedicated to Suntu uh, Little Bro uh, the song there was a time I keep saying the same story, but it was interesting. I was uh, when I was doing my album in 2015. Yeah, it was this album was released? In fact, I was um, I was on well halfway of the recording, and I spent a lot of time in bed, you know, sleeping, not doing much. Um, but my young brother used to live with me at the time, soon too, and uh, you know, young, <laughs> clubbing, going out in the night, having a great time. And one night I was just lying down on the sofa, really had with this melody going around in my head. With the melody hole. But I was not fit, you know, to get up and grab my car. I can see my car across the room, but I couldn't get hold of it. And he walks in late in the night. I gently ask him nicely if he can tune my car. And he did. And I asked him a pattern to go with the bass line. And he started doing it. And then the accompaniment, the melody. And I start adding bits and bits, and he's, he's getting tired. He said, man, you're asking for too much. <laughs> for just four fingers to do all of that is just a lot. Come on. And I just pick up my phone at the time, just record it, and left the phone, and then went back to sleep. Anyway, you know, months later, I went back to the studio, and um, I recorded this song. And um, I just said it's fair to dedicate it to him because it brought or kept what was in my head at the time. So thank you, little bro. to the next tune when the tuning is done here.
face à l'onde Maman qui connaît la siba Tiamayele
Thank you. They're gonna go for the last number. Guess. <laughs> Uh, there was a song called If Only I Knew, a song also from my solo album, 22 Strings, which was released in 2015, and many albums follow that. And I'm going to end up with this um, tune, uh, which is one of my old compositions called Future String. Just for an info, um, something I would like to let you know as well, it's a sneak in message. Um, on the 25th of June, I'll be releasing my new single, new single called Homeland. A tribute I compose and dedicated to Homeland. It's gonna be out also with a single video on the 25th of June, but you can pre-save you like, and lovely, also future, uh, a brother, a mentor, beautiful star out there, Baba Mal, will be featuring on that tune as well. So save the day, download, it's only be released digital only, so grab it if you can. This next one, um, it's called, um, future string. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hope you had a good time. Thank you. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you so much, Seku, for this amazing, amazing intimate session that you've given us tonight. We're so, so, so glad to have him. Um, but Seku, will please, could we have one more, please? But before that, I just want to plug um, next week. We've got on the 18th, we have Africa coming in um, for Africa in the Lounge, the yeah, Series 3 and... Um, episode three in series four. And thank you all for tuning in on behalf of our friends and partners, Yaram Arts, Brewery Arts, Bristol Beacon, Brighton Dome, our partners, Wildstack Video Production, Ustos, and also Totally Radio, who are streaming, so I'm streaming this live on the radio as well. And we want to thank everyone for all the support and that you've given us. And please tune in next Friday at 8 o'clock for Africa. Please, please tune in. And thank you all for your donations and your support. Um, yes, one more time for please, Mr. Seku Keita. Thank you to the African Night Fever team too as well. All the best. Thank you, Ibu. Thank you for having me. It's been a great evening. I hope you enjoyed it over there. Like I said earlier on, people on their phone, their laptop, on the iPad, uh, so maybe in bed. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Hope I didn't wake you up. <laughs> <laughs>